Hi everyone, uh, welcome to this lecture. Um, so in this lecture, we'll be looking at how you can generate a time series animation uh, using Python. How can we automate um, the process using um, open source Python tool um, if you have um, you know multi multi date um, you know imagery or satellite imagery in this case uh, an NDVI and um, we'll get uh, we'll get that done here. So um, I'll be using this uh, bit of code. It's um, um, available on Git. I'll, I'll, I'll put the link um, below. And this is the, the script that um, um, would achieve that. So um, in this example, um, I'll use NDVI, Normalized Difference Vegetation um, Index, derived from Landsat image. And I have multiple years of data. And I'll be able to use this code to generate um, the uh, time series um, and pretty much um, you know well um, 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 you know well documented in terms of you know color bar and title and things like that and also the different years um, here to um, show that kind of animation year to year variation or you know various temporal stamp if it's a, if it's a different data set okay so let's get started. Um, and before I, I start, I'll just clean everything here so that we can run uh, from scratch. Um, and that's clean. Um, so the first thing is, um, so this is, as I mentioned uh, earlier, um, let me just zoom in a little bit uh, so that you can see the, the code here. Um, so this is NDV animation with Landsat data. Um, so before we start, actually, let me show you the data set here. And so this is the, the data set um, that I'll um, plan to uh, generate animation. I have multiple years, um, in this case, three years. The first is NDVI 2017, and the other one is NDVI 2018 and 2019. So I want to show a time series data um, and using GIF animation, which is pretty cool and powerful to show some temporal variation in your data, right? So this is derived from um, Landsat uh, satellite. So I'll pull this data and just uh, using this this code and we'll generate a GIF um, animation. Okay, so these are um, the different um, you know um, libraries that you need to install. Um, most of these you can install them using Conda um, and all of this you know Conda install Imageo and NumPy, Matplotlib. Rasterio pandas and geo pandas and then imageo i'll um, install it using a pip install here in the jupyter notebook okay and i've already created um, um you know my conda environment you, you need to create one if you haven't done so um so you have to um, install all of this package in, in a conda environment and if you have done so then um let's just get started so I'll uh, go ahead and then uh, execute this pip install image you it will Im import um, um, actually install the um, the uh, library image you which is um, powerful to generate um, you know um, gif or, or animation right and here I have a bunch of uh, you know libraries that I import I've already installed all of this you know libraries in a, using a conda environment here um, so I just need to import them. If you have not done so, just go ahead and um, install all of this in a Conda environment. And I have, um, I'll execute all of this to import uh, all of the dependencies or just the necessary uh, libraries um, to execute this animation um, script. Uh, and um, t -t 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 -t. so it has imported all of them, so I don't see any error. And the other thing is I'll set up an environment where I can access my image here. I've shown you already here, right? So I need to um, copy paste, you know, the directory for this um, so that I can access um, this uh, raw imagery to generate a time series animation. So I just copy pasted that. You can change this into wherever you put that, you know, raster image. And the other thing is this will generate an autom like a new folder called animation so that you can store all the animation files. So when, when I execute this, as you can see here, this is my main directory. 
and when I execute this, it will create um, an animation for MPT animation folder. Let's just check that once we execute this code, um, it will it should create animation. Here you go. So we have created that animation folder. So it's empty as you can see. We don't have any any G file. Um, so the next step is actually to um, you know access um, all of that image, um, you know the, the file file list um, you know you can, you can write this bit of code and the file name here is a t file that ends with tiff um, uh, I can just edit this um, and save that um, so the first thing what it does is just list the um, the tiff imagery um, sorry that let's just go here so it will just list um, we'll go to this folder and list all of the imagery okay and then for each image it will it will actually read that using a rasterio package okay and once it reads that it will generate a plot okay um, all of this uh, bit of code will uh, help us to generate um you know the the code um the sorry the the map um and actually we can we can um plot that if you just comment this it will generate that that time series so let me just give you a little bit of um, description what what these guys do uh, so cmap is a color yellow green color you can change this if you want to and if you want to reverse the order you can change you can apply this or sometimes you can comment that and this is the dimension of the, the you know the um, the layout of the you know the plot or the graph 20 by 15 and finally this will um, um, achieve uh, or execute the, the plotting so just you're technically using plot image show uh, I am show uh, LCPRI is the the data the raster you have already uh, read using raster you and then CMAP is your color right and so I mean you can you can pull this to a river uh, you know into a, rev a reverse or you can apply this cmap reverse if you want to invert you know the legend and now just list um, the data and um, you know generate some sort of um, title here you can generate a title to the time to the the, the plot and some um, you know axis and also some you know title for the color um, the color bar and actually save the file using you know the year um, in this case you know 2017 2018 and 2019 and the NDVI so let's just first execute you know this so that we can see some you know some map here as you can see here this is just a gray you know a gray color NDVI image all right so this is what we have before we execute that code. Now we are um, able to generate, you know, that time series. If I zoom out a little bit here, we can see, you know, this is, the, you know, the time series. Um, and the, the plot, we, we have a title here automatically generated and the color bar here. You can see the color bar and for all the years, right? So that's the first step. And so we haven't yet implemented, actually let, let me close this so that we, um, our space is a little cleaner. So as it generates all of the plots, it will automatically um, generate um, um, some sort of um, a monitoring of the output. And if you go to the animation um, folder, you can see some of this image, right? Let me just ex um, make it a little larger. So you can see we have already um, created this, um, you know, um, static map layout. If you click here, you can see the, uh, you know, the the image we have created. Um, you know, higher NDVI value, lower NDVI value. Of course, um, it's not visible here; just the background. Uh, we'll do that on on the dashboard, on the Jupyter Notebook dashboard. So now, what the next step is. Um, the next bit of code uh, pulls all of these static, you know, maps, and then just generates a, G a GIF. Okay, this is where we generate the GIF. So what this function does is that uh, it will pull all of this, uh, you know, static image here, 
and sorts them in order and generates a G file okay so I'll execute that once I do that we'll have uh, a GIF image here let me actually um, list by detail. You can see all of the static maps are, you know, PNG. Once I execute that code, we have this animation NDVI, all right? So let's just um, click that. You see, you can see we have already created the animation, right? So you have, um, you know, the different years, 2017, 18, and 19. So, you know, some special variation you, you can monitor here. Uh, I, I deliberately did like only you know a few years, but if you have the data set, you can do it like for 10 years or 15 years of you know temporal variation over space, right? And we have all the um, you know legend here, the color bar. Um, so we have already created the GIF animation, okay? And be, because we have a lot of static data here, let's just clean that. So the next bit of code is it will clean all of these files so that we don't, we don't just get confused with the animation file, okay? So I'll execute the remove function so that we have a cleaner folder here. So we don't have anything. We just have only the GIF um, animation folder here. That's pretty cool. So we can use this in our presentation and you know different reporting and things like that. And one of the cool things is that you can also pull this um, GIF image in a Jupyter notebook and you can visualize that. So to visualize that, we can execute this bit of code. You'll pull um, that animation, um, an NDVI animation file and displace it here. Just uh, let's execute that in, uh, in a second. You will display that here. So as you can see here, let's just zoom uh, a little bit so that you can see the full extent of the animation. So now we have finally generated a pretty cool animation, uh, which has all the title and the legend, um, um, the color bar, and which is pretty cool, right? You can automatically generate, um, you know, animation file using um, a Python, um, you know, script. If you have some sort of image, for example, in this case, NDVI, um, you know, from satellite and whatnot. So this is a pretty cool um, way to visualize your, your data um, using, uh, you know, um, Python and Jupyter Notebook.